the San Francisco Giants, and they roll into Mesa to square off with the Cubs. That's what you're looking for. I anticipate that if he has a good, crisp three innings. Or day hurler, let's head down to field level. Elise Meneker, she has more on Steel Cage. Justin Steele is one of the Cubs' young talents, and today looking to shave down on that five. Lineup is brought to you by Ford. It starts right off the top. Ismail Mungia, Tom Murphy, Wilm off on the right track. And then we talked about it right off the They like to tidy things up before the season starts. And at this final install of Steel, that's what he's trying to zone in on. Yeah, no, absolutely. Listen, at the end of the day, you're just, you're chomping. Steel, uh, not how he pictured this start. No, he never want to hit the. The prognosticator, Ryan Dempster. That's the defensive setup for the Cubs. It's brought to you by Blue Cross, a blue shield. And we know that Canario, and you see how things with Cole Roeder shape up out there in the outfield. Yeah, and it's interesting, you know, you heard Elise talk about it too, the 70 pitch kind of cap. You look crisp, you look sharp, then there's no reason to stretch it out any further than you have. Wilmer Flores put up some solid numbers just a season ago. Down. Yeah, I mean, this guy has just continued to just. In the outfield at Canacosco, in the books, middle of the first, Cubs and John. Benny's Beverage Depot, if you can't find it at Benny's, it's probably not worth drinking. A guy who came yesterday in the comeback win. And the starting pitcher for the uh, managed to get five starts in, pitched in nine games. So, uh, you know, and I think that's the biggest thing. A guy is uh, still trying to go out there, impress the manager, impress this whatever that ends up looking like. Mm, there's a knock right there, but that's going to be uh, snared by Blake. And this uh, giant defensive setup is brought to you by Northwestern Medicine. You just saw a Sable. It's Nico Horn to play Tempe. Yeah, Nico just can back. Funny how that works, huh? Yeah. The right field. Hamster guards. <laughs> first offering to Cody. Two outs in the bottom of the first. What's your prize possession? Thanks. Gen Mint 10. Upper deck. Upper deck. You know that classic one? That he, he re a, uh, a black silk bowling shirt. <laughs> Pretty lazy. Ball dribbled out in front. Cameron out of the baseline. Uh, plenty to discuss. Still a 0 0 error by San Francisco. We'll get back to that in just a second. Blocking a late base on a slide. We saw it. We've seen that already being right about there. If, if, if you don't get in inside the left or the right side of the eyes for that. We even saw the play just the other day. If you're blocking second base. And I'll tell you, man, this kid, he's grown up fast, right? Starter. Oof. That ball. Off of it. Pop up throughout the games, especially in spring training, and here's an off eyes. Absolutely. Joey Bart stands in. Off for a strike. Now, at least it, it seems like that, but Joey Bart trying to make himself a fixture. Marco Luciano, he digs in. That ball sky. Given chase. Question. I would probably say the first time is like when you see like that. Yeah, it's like that's when you know that there's a pair of air so free pass issued to Luciano Romero looking to wiggle out of some trouble here. Yeah, and you just got to get that you put yourself in a much better position. Now now you get oh. Hmm. It's Gerald the Springfield Illinois on there with bases loaded and one out. 86 uh -huh. we're fine with that. Pablo Sandoval has been playing for 27 seasons. 11 seasons of fit. Looking like a new, improved, trimmed down. Only given chase in that one. And Ramiro really starting to settle in here. Anticipating going into that game. So there's the factor of are you more crisp as these face guys? Just like that. Just like that. Jose Romero makes quick work of San Francisco. Fun. Yeah, but he's a guy who brings a, a lot of veteran presence to the club hopping somewhere and um, getting a chance to plug in the four hole today. You know, good for him. He can hit you with that five finger death. And your timing just isn't quite there, but you'll get there. And just a short stop. Saw him last season, 97 98. That's swing and miss kind of stuff. How to do that one, one. That ball. Sky by Reed. Jan Gomes and Hayden Wisniewski. Puts that one. On the outer hand. 
And he is struggling with it in, in, in results in spring training. Um, but just really working. That's a professional hitter right there. Reels that one in. That ball hit hard on the ground. Your way immediately following Cubs and Brewers action. And there's the Jaguar charge into that one down the left. And the ball sprayed to the right side for Luis Vasquez. He's getting more and more experience. Ball well struck up the middle. That they, they want that to be noticed. Yeah, absolutely. You put a lot of hard work. That's a lot of early mornings in the weight room. Darren, look at that. At on the hitter and dump. I'm, I'm sure you can speak to that. That always makes a pitcher's life a lot easier. He, I couldn't agree more. Base and one out. You're saying all he's looking to do is get outs. And if you're Cam Sanders and you had your gold glove shortstop in the game in Dansby Swanson, the Cubs are hitting. He should not have taken off. Fulgrim. The Milwaukee Brewers had not done that in their home clubhouse yet. Yeah, that, oh, oh, Cody Bellinger. He's digging for third. So. Talking big time power prospect. It's going to drive in a run up to third. Michael Bush, quality piece of hit. Just go, right? With Tampa, and they're a scrappy ball club. Yeah, you look at that list right there. Four of those teams are. And that ball, hurry. That's going to be a two-run. The cup. Hey, they're trailing. Just jumping. You know, puts a really gives up a home run. Now I'm going. How does he How's respond? I think that's that's part of it all, right? It wasn't a good enough hitter to own that. You know. hmm, that ball, straight through the left side. That ball, a foul. Control a lot more. That one. Shot to shortstop, and what would you go with if you were playing this day and age? Yeah, probably uh, maybe like we can't have the multicolored ball hit well in back on that one, and oh, right down the got it, I got it, you got it, you got it, and when you're in the midst of battle, some putting on nice little. That's all. You want to compare it to, but he said that he still had a great year. It was just kind of back to that kind of player that we're used to seeing out of him. Alfaro, well hit the shorts, 2 0, 3 1, all those kind of things where you can go ahead and try and shoot for the moon. And a ballpark lunch provided by Vienna Beef. Enter to win at Cubs.com. Off that one, you know. I think that'll just continue to get sharper and sharper. El Contra. We want all those good vibrations to continue to roll yeah. into the real thing. Specific. Grew up in the shadows of Magic Mountain out there in the West Coast. Santa Clarita. Not necessary adjustments, but uh, right now I feel like I'm talked about swing adjustments. Yeah, you know, just keep, uh, keep making that same adjustment. It's also nice to hear that you're feeling great because he had some injuries the last couple of years. He didn't, didn't have a full spring training. To be around guys like Hap, Bellinger. Them, you know, just ask them as much as they can, and they also offer a lot of advice to, to me, so it's been in the roster that opening day. Alexander, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Freddie. <laughs> in those interviews, to know that they have somebody in their corner like that. Timing back. He's going to be off and running because we yeah. talked about the power that he possesses. And, um, you know, it, it'll come to at the big league level the more you just get. Riley Martin is still doing quality workout. We're back on this one. Third out of the inning. It's a halfway point of the eighth frame. The Cubs a pair with those St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, and then the train comes rolling through. So it's going to be an exciting kind of first week in, in baseball. 20. You know, Ed was able a few days ago, and you see right there, 16th overall. Pulling. Just continue to take advantage of opportunities you're getting and stay. 3 1 count to Ed Howard. Quality cuts on these offers. He knew 3 1 after you'd already kind of gotten a little bit of an idea of 3 1 pitch. That was his pitch to get to hit. 
Cubs 26 games in the minors, but put some pop on full display. Seven home runs in 26 games. Just from the eye test, the moment doesn't seem to be too big for him. He knows about this cat. Can he handle himself behind the plate? Yes, that box you can check. Next, another box you can get on. You see that right there, that ball. This is going to be at runs well for a cat. I always love that same. On the farm, 25 runs batted in. Three home run. The card right about now, though. Late in the ball game, knowing that this is probably going to be one of your last at bats, and then put that off speed pitch in play. Yeah, and just yeah, just put together a tough at bat. You go up there against the the wall, but scouts in the stands get in. The game is pretty awesome. We got Jefferson Encarnacion chops through that off speed offering, but they're on the hill. You see, a season ago, 36 games, a 4.98. Can't really defend that free pass, Tim. No, and that that's you know, the, and the stuff's there. Um, the makeup's there, works hard, but Chicago native. Put up a pump here in the spring and looking to do a little damage right off the bat once again. Ooh. It's a big frosted flakes guy. Yeah, I'm gonna snack him. Fruit loops? Yeah. Okay. Oof, nice offering from Nahas right there. Sometimes you go out there and bang, bang, you get two quick outs. And then the game will pitch, executing that pitch, and that's all that matters. That ball, grabbing a little out. Howell, a native of Fargo, North Dakota. Kicker at Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Oops. Try to jump back in this ball game. And one thing they have. Ryan Dempster, ever the optimist. Tommy how to be in Ryan for tonight. Um, that being said, I, yeah. I don't think so. I think they're probably if they were discussing dinner plans. Yeah. They're laid back guys. Yeah, and maybe, they're going maybe steakhouse. Ryan was like, did so Ooh, another nice offering from Nahas runs a count. Hmm. That one sky the center who's made the move to the big field reels that look at the plate four to catch up with the Giants as they trail seven to three. Miguel Morrell strolls up to home plate and Told you earlier as he checked in as a almost mirror images, almost like Ronald Acuna Jr. and his younger brother. Yeah. Hey, it'll solid cut right there. One thing. I left. It's every single set worth of his swing. Ball hit hard down the line. Alcantara, another one. Oh, good play. The third base. Yeah. Um, from the Giants, just pulling, up, pulling up the strike zone. The opposite of what we saw early on. Two free passes, you hit batters. Chances are you're going to fall behind the eight ball more times than not. Here I do my job at shortstop, but. There's a gold glover right in front of me, and then this one to a close. A seven to three, San Francisco prevail for Mesa, San Francisco seven, your Chicago.